Now, it's an interesting way for him to start off, right? Trying to get stuck in. Trying to be proactive in the pistol round. But it's left him a man down. It's left him in a bad way. Hobbit up close. They Ooh. will check for him. But it's a little labored from Brokey. Hobbit would love another kill here. But he's boxed in and run down. Rain and Carrigan with a kill apiece. Rain's inside the site now. Closing nice. the distance. And with Napani dead, it's all oh. over. <laughs> Rain starts this one off strong. You don't want rain catching fire, which sounds ludicrous when you say it out loud. But you know, I've been when I, I've been there in Miami when we were playing with FaZe and uh, against Liquid, and he just had one of those games. Yeah, lovely deke to open from the captain of Cloud9. But with this smoke down, FaZe already oh, in. Buster's got to watch his back. Run down is Nafani, but the kills still favor the Cloud9 Axel. squad. Getting awkward now with Twist dead. Rops can't do it. Axile's running down from long. The reply is immediate. Axile now spotted, but he does get the better of rain. Hello, look at Carrigan trying to open the back door into the A play. He will get that kill. Brokey's it found is. another. The backstab lands for FaZe. Yeah, this much on the line, not with uh, this much weaponry and utility. Cloud9 have a good chance of doing it, but Carrigan under the smoke. Sees some feet, takes Nafani out, and Buster is forced to surrender. You know, being left alone. I mean, it was even FaZe. Maybe it was a Dallas where they played Cloud9 and we saw him you know, lurking late on, uh, on Inferno and Cloud9 got a last second 3v3 retake and a 3v4. He's holding for exactly this play though. Carrigan oh. only won. There is the trade from Twists at least. And so that's going to give FaZe something. And those are the guns for Cloud9. The rest of the players are on pistols and Shiro also no armor. So he can have a... I don't know that there's a man down in the pit, but they should be clearing this just as a precaution. He misses that shot with the Deagle, and FaZe will stick the landing on the conversion. It feels good to finally get out of that. You don't keep the Force by Wars going back and forth. Won't get him off the angle. Needs to be cautious. Now they learn about Shiro, but that's a clean top. Oh. Rain doing it all. The A site now overran, the A site now taken, and Carrigan's even assaulting B in the meantime. Nafani is stuck in the middle, stuck in no man's land. Surely, oh, I think he not. might. I think he's mental surely enough to clear this. Not. I honestly think he's mad enough to do it. Oh, Carrigan! <laughs> well. And so they even removed that M4 right at the end. Yeah, there is still a man at short. They're not fully aware about him yet. Oh. They might learn about him the hard way. They're clearing out the rest of the site. They will start to lose bodies down in short, and so suddenly Twist has got to be the hero. Will tap out the site player, but one man still can find oh, and hop it. There it is. Rises to the occasion. He is just stolen away around. Hey guys, make sure to check out Keydrop and use my code VLADAPART to get 50 cents for free and 10% deposit bonus. Keydrop is a case opening website, so if you want to upgrade your inventory and feeling lucky, they have many different and convenient deposit methods like crypto, bank transfer, skins, and many other. As well as, they have a free gold feature where you can get free money for completing easy tasks like following them on Twitter. Here, as an example, I unboxed a vision case for $24 and managed to get this gut knife black laminate. I'm not a big fan of gut knives, so I decided to upgrade it to those driver gloves imperial plate. I also added a bit of my balance to have my chances over 50% and luckily, the upgrade was successful. With drawing the skin is also super easy. Just go to your inventory, click on collect and you will receive the trade offer in about a minute. So guys, make sure to check out Keydrop and use my code Vladapart. Link will be in the description below. FaZe looking to go now, oh. Carrigan leading the charge, topping the charts right now. Kickstarting this in great form. Shiro suddenly thrown into so holding this A site all alone. One more man Ooh. out through long. Brokey fires off just a second too soon. And that's given Shiro a chance here. Ooh. Just sails past him. No. Back on the bathrooms! Shiro's not letting up, but finally deleted. Finally gone. And it falls to Brokey in this clutch. Buster swinging on up. Brokey oh. trying to pick and choose every bullet, but it's Buster to close. Oh, that's such a relief as well. Shiro thought that that molly had stopped Brokey. He thought he had the room to go grab an upgrade. 
That's because the money's on the line, like you say. And so Rain tries to move in, tries to lead the charge, but it's into this crossfire. They trade one back and forth, but Hobbit's still alive. They don't know about him. He's boxed into a corner, so can only go one for one there. Shiro holds the cross and flips the script back in favor. Oh, what? Cloud Nine! And that's how he closes the round, Shiro! Random shot through the box. And that was a perfect flash out short as well, but Shiro just dodged it by millimeters for the repeak. Show me this. Unbelievable. Nasty. Yeah. And FaZe are pissed. They're going for the force and the B rush. It will work, but they're still going to clear it. I'd like to see him almost drop off and reposition, but they know that FaZe are here. Yeah, Exact coming in now. Rain in the forefront. Hobbit, the monster players. There's one more. Hobbit might be able to hold on to this round. Oh, oh Hobbit! Lights them up. Another saving round from this man. That could have come up, FaZe. That should have been their B play. They'd lit up the monster players. They had them boxed in. They'd gotten through the B site util. But Hobbit just continues rising to the occasion here. He is the veteran Cloud9 player to pry a route into this A bomb site. Flashed off the angle. And now the long play springs to life. Tries to move in. Axile's got it. Twist. Like and this. Brokey. Killer piece. And Twist left up in the clutch. A man on a mission, a man trying to make history in this grand final, left up in the clutch. But is he ready for the deep peak down the stairs? Oh. He is. Decapitates the first man. Oh, oh, and he lives. The headshot came with the close. You can just see it coming together, right? What a flick on Buster, and the pre-aim is perfection for twists. Dude, I mean, what a roller coaster some of these rounds are. That's a 3v5 out of phase. It's a 1v2 for Twists. And it just feels like both teams are having their hero moments, these individual moments of brilliance to keep this first half neck and neck. Buster with a reply, and Shiro, keen eye on the A site. You've got to keep these sneak walk-ups that FaZe have been doing in the back of your mind, and Shiro is oh. nailed by Raid. Wow, that's sick. Hell of a shot to open this up and not looking the right way was Nafani trying to deal with Brokey up through short. It leaves it on Buster. Back in Katowice, there were a lot of questions around this guy. And so now in the 1v2, a lot of pressure on him. He's put work in. He's looked good here. But this is asking a hell of a lot. It's Rain and Brokey in a solidified post plant with a crossfire between the bank and truck. And Brokey swings out to put a close to it. 8-7. Faze winning out the first half on Cloud9's map pick on their T side. Aggressive in some rounds and some early fights here in the pistol round. Yeah, sure. Nice take shot the first. Shiro. This is the second most efficient opening fight player in the game right now. Shiro takes that opening kill. Hobbit will follow up. Rops falls. Rain uncleared for now, but they will see him as they run on down. Rain needs some taps. He's only good for one. Shiro's P250 sings a song and Carrigan comes in on a flank that's oh. been heard by Axile. They can turn around, they should turn around, and so Shiro shall. But this flank is still in play for Axile, and the timing might Axel just be it. there. Uh, in that Rio game that we discussed, let me just check, I have some feeling. Yeah, and that was three rounds where they won the pistol and won the second round and then lost the third. So that's just like one gun round, mm. really, that you managed to win. But that's a big risk. and. And it's all a fake out anyway. Now going to get flashed through Monster. Two blind players. And he'll take one and a half. That'll do. Oh. Another miss smoke out of Cloud9. Rain still inside the site with the Deagle. But he's got so much to accomplish. He does get helped out by Brokey. There's one more man here. That scout lands a tag. This could happen for FaZe. The bomb is out on an island over at short. Oh, Brokey can just waste a bit of time here. And it's Buster, the man who was tagged by this scout at the start of the round. Oh. Finally finished off now. And Shiro needs this kill. No way. He's given him the, the fight. Robs tags he's him and stops the plot. Shiro had to stick it in the face of defeat there. There was no way. Giving him a bit of everything. 
Just one in a pistol, but this is nicely recovered by FaZe, forcing a bit more respect. They drop one of the AKs out of the round now as well, and this scout on Brokey continues to put up so much damage. Might not be the orb, might not hit the same, but it's leaving Cloud9 with no HP to get into this bomb site. And once again, bye so bye. little time left. They just wanted to die. They're mowed down. Carrigan was even running the flank, and uh, you know, the Hobbit heard all of it. He heard every step. He couldn't kill him in the 1v1. Cloud9 doesn't have a single flash left, and it's a minute left on the clock. You know, they have one smoke and one molly, basically the HEs, and actually this might work out for them. Oh, they go, and they, oh, they pull back. They're going to get out. Axel can't even punish. They face together, oh. and Twitch just forces that kill. No way FaZe should have gotten out. So good, and Carrigan's hungry. He goes back for more. He might have another kill to boot. SMG through the smoke. Hobbit curious about it. Carrigan can't catch him off guard. Two on three now, 30 seconds, still lacking on Util. And that question for Shiro is, do I save? Because he's got that AWP and he's so low, it might be too far gone for Cloud9. Carrigan, indeed hungry. Was hoping for some tomatoes, but only got lemons. Sour. Yeah, I left a sour taste in his mouth, right? On that push, ends up, uh, ends up giving it away. They will get out with these two guns. There was a very small part of me when Hobbit grabbed the bomb that kind of wanted him to... And holds on to the bathrooms. That's even massive. grabs the AK. It's not just because he loves that gun. It's because, you know, now it can't be retrieved by these pistols. He continues pushing, continues facing. Well end up on the receiving end of Axar. Can't be ready for Rops, though. Same position and looking for the same result. He'll get okay. it. He dies with nothing, though, this time. Axel upgrades. Shiro's on long with the orb, trying to dunk Util with 15 seconds left on this round. Cloud9 need a part now. Twist is going to stop Massive. them. How the hell is Buster ever meant to get involved? He will not. Brokey and Twist, a stellar hold on the site. Phase up to 13. Cloud9 out of time. Three all, very low players. And while all this is going on, Buster is trying to take some more space towards A, right? That might be give C9 nice. some options, but FaZe, even with low HP, man, they just keep Dude, coming at you. That is so wild, isn't it? Boosting. You know, the guy's boosting of 19 and what, 16 health? That That's just wild. To have thrown that off. Oh, Carrigan How? still peeking. He is one shot away from death versus any weapon. And he continues fighting them. Now, Buster's found this cool timing. Ooh. And for Brokey, it is just a game of timings here. He's got to hope he's on the angle at the right time, because if he isn't, Carrigan up close, gives the jiggle, and now Twist oh, no. falls back in the toilets. That's what FaZe were waiting for, and nothing right. comes through on the flank. Rops is left saving, and the damage done down on B comes back to haunt FaZe. Oh, they're still hunting as well. I might even find this at the last second. Rops needs to live to keep this orb. It's the only way. Oh, didn't even react. And maybe he just stands still, waits for Brokey to help out. He has to move forward. Brokey in front of the Molotov. He bumped oh, from 100 to zero. No. He did not expect that spread. And Shiro took down Rain in the meantime. That could not have gone worse for FaZe. This is so weird now. That is not a casualty that FaZe were expecting. That is not a death that they were set up to take. Rops left in the hold alone, and he's overran. Dear. This is a Cloud9 round, gifted it. And then Brokey's inside of the Molotov. That's super awkward. We'll get spammed out a lot, but a Karma comes his way, and Nades will start to land in B. Yeah, flashes now, Buster. Dead over on short, Carrigan Ooh, dropping down, getting set up in this crossfire. This is going to be so tricky for Cloud9 to break into, and they don't find a way in. They don't find that kill that kind of kickstarts the side take. They're chewed up, spat out, and phase Clan. A much needed round. Cloud9, we're starting to build a bit of faith, build a bit of confidence after securing. You know, a handful of rounds in a row. It was important that FaZe finally pulled up with a win. And I think more importantly than that, this win, this win is clean as well, right? Four alive. Money made. That's going to set them up. Because your big worry at this sort of scoreline, the only worry a CT side has is... Surely no way. He gets away with two kills here. One would have to be enough. Oh, Reign's ready. He reads that. Maybe here's the step of the metal. They've lost their first man and they've got no space. The bomb's in T-spawn at 20 seconds. The round is done. There is no hope. There is no way in for Cloud9. Sprint all you want. This is too little. It's too late. 
Yeah, they're trying to get out into B. Even if they get the kills, this is so Surely tenuous. Not. They're trying to find a way back in. This is a There's buzzer time. beater. Got this it. is a There's buzzer time. beater of a round. They've got the plant. Oh, oh now they've nailed Froki. They're trying to save this one, but Raptor is Desperate. short. FaZe, hold on. They go from terror and fear for a moment. Through the volley, Naphne with great timing. Rain's not going to know about this, and Naphne starts walking up close. But that's smoke spam to Shiro, not the guy you want to lose first for C9. Naphne, he's on a slow hunt. He doesn't want to give away his objective, but Rain just gets flashed back in. FaZe continue to spam down aggression the way of Cloud9. They are not fearful right now, and Rain has been at the forefront of FaZe all game, 24 and 17. The experienced player, not his first Grand Slam attempt, as we said earlier, season one. With this AWP, looking for a swing, looking for a fight, oh, Twist yeah. wins the opener, and it's just Axel, 1v3, now 1v2, Twist is low, and Axel will get rid Surely of him. Not. It's down to the clutch, he might not have this plant, it's so close, oh. and he oh. just gets it, just about. Carrigan, 1v1 for the map, and Axile swings wow. out and keeps the dream alive for Cloud9. That's the star power right there. And that was the two flashes they got. That was the flash that, you know, Twist got a kill full blind on Hobbit, right? But he was very low on HP. And Hobbit communicates that to Axile. That's why Axile is, you know, pre-firing the corner and able to get that kill. And then, you know, Carrigan in a tough spot. Faze have got two in oh. the truck that off offers something up, but Broki nice with the flash. trade. Rops flash through, and they're looking to end it here and Not now. Axel can't manage another last second clutch. This time, there's too much against him. Surely, oh. two kills in the round, but the bomb at long. There isn't time for Axel. Faze have won it to the clock. They steal Ooh. Cloud9's map pick away and go 1 0 up. One map closer to the title here, ESL Pro League, and one map closer to the Intel Grand Slam. New phase come storming out of the gate after a very nice CT side on overpass. Yeah, I think if you're Cloud9, you knew this was appearing in this series. You knew it was coming up in the BO5, and you knew it was likely coming up straight away. Rain at the top of Banana, naded down Cloud9. Now what they want to do in this pistol, they're coming Ooh. through this smoke right in the face, but Rain Ooh. and Twist send them packing. Get out of B, Cloud9, reduced to bags of flesh here. It's just Hobbit and Naphne in the 2v5. And Rops is holding on to bottom banana. There's not a way out in sight for Cloud9. Carrigan as well. Heavy handed as the first shot connects. It's all on Hobbit, just a formality to finish this one off. And that's it, FaZe with the opening pistol. Isn't content with just one, doubles down for the second frag, sets their path in towards B. Twist arrives on the scene with a cheeky HE, and that is a cyclone. Blows Axile out of the server, Buster for the trade oh. back as he goes down in boiler. Careful now, FaZe. They're coming back into this round. That's another grenade. Nafri walks oh. in. If he didn't move, a mo uh, if he didn't move, he would have lived. He was in the corner. He was covered. It's this close angle in mid, and he's not going to yeah. check for it. So that's a freebie. Drops 50, it long. 50 angle out through middle, and he just elects to clear the short side. Out of mid, Twist attempting to cover. Brokey moves back. He's on his own, and he's got to worry about apps as well. Twist is in a predicament. Brokey swings out. That's a good timing on the fight. It draws their attention the wrong way, but Twist whiffs his shot. He has to find this one. He will. Pistols out, spraying away with the duelies, and he tears through more. Just Axel finishing what he started. Has an AK now, though. Weapon of choice. One man in the sight. Brokey oh. swings out. Atop the boxes, atop his tower. They need to stick the landing on this one. They've not given themselves a big grace period. They need the openers and they need them now. Rops down in the pit, not giving fights away. Oh. Trying to play in tandem with Brokey and they've robbed this round. You can't win this Cloud9. They're trying to get They're the bomb it. planted. They will get the numbers oh. pulled in, but Shiro is overran wow. and Brokey, the human turret to meander through and Brokey somehow dodges death a thousand times in the smoke, picks three players out. And I, I don't even know how C9 part that bomb there, but they'll take the bonus cash. It's gonna enable another rebuy even without the AWP. 
And it's very, very hard to play against a FaZe Clan that's looking and feeling like this. The adjustment is well-timed as well. We've got two eyes on apartments. It mid seems clear. Rops just flash peaked it so they know what's coming. He will fall immediately though. It's again up to the turret. Oh, is he up for the task once more? He's got support this time. Twists and Brokey won't let you in. The app's play falls apart. Hobbit still trying to get down into the pit. Will make it in, but now he's trapped here with the bomb. There's no longer a path out. Hobbit is fighting every step of the way. One X Factor could be Shiro, right? They don't know about him. They don't know where this second man's gotten to, and Hobbit wins one of these fights. This guy was pivotal on overpass. The experience was really shining through. Hobbit felt like he was down to clown with the best of them. And now with Shiro moving in the short side, Hobbit still making contact, forces a wide oh! swing, and this is happening, unless Brokey can put a stop to it. Shots are missing with each shot that sails past them, they're getting no closer. Way. There's one, the USP dinks, it's down to this, 20 seconds, oh! and over the top, the round is denied! Brokey with the clutch! How does he keep doing it? Back-to-back -back triple kills at the back of the A site, and he didn't have a shot left in that orb. And that would have been a 2v4 going back the other way. And Brokey stands tall and delivers. Cloud he nine. doesn't even have the AWP by his side. Yeah. He had to close that with the pistol. And beating Shiro in the clutch as well. I mean, this is the clutch kid of Cloud9. The, the AWP head-to-head -head battle. You could even argue favor Shiro with some unbelievable performances last year. And we've seen that for Ray. And, and we've seen that. And I think, you know, FaZe Clan, Ooh. they're very, very content of playing this brand of Counter-Strike. They always thrive. <laughs> In these no! positions, Rops is not supposed to survive that journey, but he does, and he does more than just survive. He thrives in middle, gets out with a frag, leaves this on just two for Cloud9. Shiro and Hobbit between them, they've had clutches. These two are clutch players. Ooh. You're asking a hell of a lot of them though. Hobbit's found another. Trying to, know, sure. trying to thin the herd in for the B play, creeping under the boost. He will check for it. And so Hobbit adds another to the tally, but he's flying solo. He loses Shiro in the cross. Hobbit has got to do this alone. And with one man up close, they could deny this. Tap on the bomb. He's waiting for a reaction. Ooh. Nails it. But Brokey follows up. And Brokey is still flawless, adding another clutch. Completely bypass him. The smokes at least render this orb useless. Spam will be unnecessary. He goes through the utility and tries to fight for the site. They're burning through the Molotov, and he will only get one. Great spacing for Cloud9 to trade that kill. And FaZe, with a game they're having, they may as well go for it. They're gonna Shiro though. He's going off with the scope. Finally, the assassin gets an opportunity to punish. Carrigan dropped. Axile oh. on the connection. Takes down Twist and it's just Rob left. Cloud9 are under no illusion how important that round is though. Well, here, that's already not obtainable for Cloud9. Oh. And they lose a man through the smoke, mauled by rain at the top of Banana. He's alone the whole time as well. There's no support, there's no assistance. Karagun's only just coming in on rotation. Rain needs no help. Nade brings them down oh. so low, and Rain is tearing Cloud9 apart. And so maybe this gives Cloud9 a chance. Whoa. That is a flashbang that tees up Buster. His first two kills in this map are critically important. It's opened up a path to the plot, a path to the 2v2. And FaZe are so far away. There's the bomb. I say they avoid reset, they get awfully close. Final 20 seconds. Waiting for the call to go in. Twists up on top with the CZ. Hits oh. one. There's the second as well. Shiro now diving through the smoke. Buster with the headshot onto Rain. He's got to do something insane, no but he can't. There's no chance. They're getting spammed a bit. He'll be taken down in the bat line, and it's all gone. Torn limb from limb. Faze know the need to pull back disadvantages there, but they're running out of apartments. Rops Whoa. out of ammo, has to swap to the pistol. Brokey gets pushed out of the site, and it might be a prerequisite to a save. Cloud9 have done what they must to stay above water. Brokey hangs around, though, and I think Faze have just done the maths. They're going into the last round. They may as well try. Oh, Brokey hits the first into Hobbit. 
Nathany with the trade. Now he's a big piece of the puzzle. They know where he is. They've got to isolate him. Careful. Twists is able to do that. Util going in. They're trying to trap as many in with the bomb as they can, and they've managed that at least. Chiro dead. They're moving into the site. They can't win the round. The time has already expired. They're going to get out with a handful of the kills and even live on that AWP. Yeah, there's no pressure for phase in that one. It would be nice to see them go a little bit earlier, right? They could have actually won that, as we saw. They put the brakes on at brackets. Using the last of the util to clear the angle. Twist, talking of which, loses out on the fight. But Rops, he's in graveyard. Man could be the harbinger of death, but he goes straight down. Buster ruining wow. his day. Nathalie with the backup onto Brokey. And there is nothing. It's all on Carrigan, a 1v3. He's going to attempt this round 15. He's going for it. There to take it over the line, even if Carrigan finds a third in the round. Up close, feet might be spotted, oh! and he's ready for that! Nafani's fed bomb. him another, and the bomb's not an apartment's plant. He taps on it, it's gonna be a wide swing out of Buster if he wants to check this, and swinging oh. it wide, he will safeguard that round! Finding four for Cloud9. FaZe are running away with Inferno though, and as they move over to their T side, they want to go for the throat of Cloud9. This round needs to be a phase pistol if they want to get themselves even further ahead. Shiro dead as his head gets lopped off. B site crumbles to dust and rain lurks, waiting towards brackets. Glock primed and ready. Information being gathered. He could cauterize the bleeding. It's CT! Oh. oh, that is despicable! And he wants more as well. Oh, wow. I mean, dude, dude like, I don't know. Cloud9 were ready for that. Axile's going to get out with the dual Berettas and armor, maybe. But even then, what does that mean? These are a nice couple of kills to close the round, but it's not saving you from that harsh reality that Phaser up on a 12. And if they stick the landing on these conversions, yeah, Cloud9 are getting what they wanted. They're getting what they wanted, and they will make it work. Axile with this Famous still Ooh. holds on. That's one mag and three kills from it. He's given Cloud9 a leg to stand on in this force by. Now it's down to the rest of the squad. Can they finish? Timing's going to be everything. They've got to get switched on. They've got to get activated at the same time. And these peaks are not together, not in tandem. The crossfires are set up. Oh. Rops wins that one. Ace. Down to the 1v1. Axel on oh. for the ace. But he can't find it. One more bullet, man. He had three in the mag. One more bullet to Brokey, and that's an ace for Axel. This The bells are ringing. The information given out. Axel, the heavy-handed man for Cloud9. Lurking in the back of the pit. Will he be tested here? Buster taking the full frontal oh. contact. Hobbit with a swing in the back. Butchers Brokey looking for more. There's the headshot onto a twist. Axile flicks up and it's all going wrong for FaZe. Carrigan with a Mac 10. Can he be the Mac Daddy? He's got the no. back up from Rain. They turn it into a two versus three. Axile looking for the pickup now. He's waiting for this one. They could leave. They could reset. They're holding on for a repeat for a swing, for a mistake, and Cloud9 might give it to them. Nice spot for Axel. Second kill of the round, and Rain, they just saw depart the short side. Where's he rerouted? Cloud9 this... stay grouped for now. Yeah, like you say, just playing the numbers on this, right? It's 14-5. You can afford to forego a round here and there. That one, you just didn't like what you saw, right? There was Hobbit pushing the long smoke. Axel down in the pit, getting away with murder. So as they tee themselves up for this B play, the, the, the one thing they've got going their way here for phase is these rotates are a long way out. And both players are entrenched at the back of the site. So they've got them pinned in. They've got them stuck on these angles. And with Shiro whiffing that shot, Carrigan pushing through the spawn. You needed a multi-kill out of Nafani. With that not getting provided, this round is done. FaZe had next to nothing coming in. They had the couple of saved guns, the three players that made it out of that last round. But Carrigan's just running in, smoking hand. And look at how far FaZe get. Buster in the danger zone will survive with two guns. And we talked about how Cloud9 can afford a rebuy, at least. Nafani could provide Shiro an AWP. 
Well, they're going to try their hand at another opening move. Oh, Love Axile it. getting aggressive. I, I tell you what, though, if he falls, that is the 5 man, five v 4 that FaZe have been looking for. This could be the opener. This could be the chance that they've been holding out for in this game. He's holding the lower push. Rob's dead. Wow. Shiro finally coming through with a bit of impact as well. They're not playing like it's 15-7. I'll say that much. And FaZe again reset back in spawn. The timing on it all as well. Anthony with a headshot on the Carrigan, one of the guns gone, broke. He just looking to save the AWP. What's he cooking in the kitchen? Game time. He's so boxed in. It's going to be impressive if yeah, he gets out with right. this orb because there is not a world where he's supposed to. Whoa. Oh, knife pulled! <laughs> and there it is. Nafani hounds him down. They're playing with okay. some confidence. All right, man. look, I'll say this about Cloud9. They're up against 15. And so, in a way, gets the opening kill. Reroots back into the site, but he won't survive much longer. Oh, Hobbit is spammed Ooh, out. Buster. This could get away from them. Buster dead down in the pit. And Cloud9, it's on to a retake. Shiro and Nafani. They've been struggling all map long, and they are the last hope for Cloud9 on Inferno. They need this opener. They need to win this first fight. Shiro tapping into the pit, won't get given this one again. They can win it to time now. Oh, Nafani up through short, trying to get in, but locked down. And so FaZe, one map away from lifting that trophy from the Intel Grand Slam and from cementing. Going to boost up into the window. Rob sees one right there, and now he knows about the second man. Hobbit is on borrowed time. Out of the round, and an early 5v3 for FaZe. They even find the planter. This one's going down the toilet quick for Cloud9. Shiro, if there ever was a time, he's out of the round now, and FaZe yeah. run them down to find the pistol. With three players and a fourth very nearby. Cloud9, as said, no nades. They've got to basically dry walk this. It's a free kill for Twist. He goes back for more. That's the confidence that FaZe are exhibiting right now. Buster's trying to find a gap, but they've moved in and Brokey gets rid of him. That's the bomb away from Cloud9. And no hope, surely, as it's just left onto Shiro. Even fighting here is crazy, but he wants that loss bonus. He'll get it. FaZe deliver him death. And swiftly, 2-0, and o, Cloud9 on an eco. Oh, Robs looks like he wants to go through with a flash. That's perfect. And he even gets out scot-free with a man advantage. Brokey sees him coming out A. He's got rain as well. Palace bound to help out. Can swing on the balk. He gets spammed through, though. They're not going to clear rain. It's an easy check for him. Drops back down the ladder. They're going to hear that noise, though. They go over the top to clear him on the ladder. Rops and twists offer support from the side. And Nafani just gets overwhelmed. We are having FaZe take every fight in the book. There again, Cloud9 are already out of navies. Yep, this guy hit their shots, hop it there with one on the twist. He's gonna need a lot more of that. Oh, oh there we go. Oh, oh, okay. oh my god, hang Cloud on a nine. sec. Eco Kings. The Deagles out of nowhere. Hang on a moment, they're onto something here. They feel like their hands are tied because the bomb's already oh out in A. They're walking into the double stack and with Brokey holding for this wrap brown Hobbit is gonna find him. That B flank saves the day. <laughs> Out on an island, but full faith here. They miss their jungle smoke. Ooh, there is a big gap in that. Twist starting to edge Ooh, forward. He gets in the triple. Sure might not notice. Oh, he's made oh, it out. Sure, uh, sure may have saw him there. Yeah. Oh, he will nail it. That's something to hold on to. 20 seconds left in the round. It's Shiro and it's Axar. These are meant to be the it men for Cloud9. On the T side, but the backstab is in for Brokey. That orb strikes, oh. and it strikes twice. Brokey with the round. Add another one onto this guy's tally. He's been responsible for so many rounds. They're still mollying into the apartments. Yeah. That flash sets up Shiro for a swing, and he even spots the man on the van. Shiro knocks out Carrigan, Ooh. tries to follow up. Pinned in by Rain. The round not done yet. Rain's looking to play for it. Rops is far and away, but Rain seems determined, seems to think that he's got a shot at this one. Creeps out through the market. No one's looking at this. He's got a good bit of room. Over at short, Nafani's just turned away. Rain is right here. Rain is in the site with the oh. Star Blinds. But Nafani.
Diaphany has bailed them out and Rops, Rops was already saving. He's come back for a very late call into this round. Rain sets them up, makes it winnable. Now Rops has to close as he's put everything on the line to go for this round. Oh. Tries his hand, but Naphany holds the line. The captain of Cloud9 will not let them in. From Brokey's backside antics, Nafani, two players right in front, they grab a gun. Are we gonna get some smokes up here? Oh, they only have one. They only have one on Shiro. Shiro needs to smoke something. Connor drums like one of the oh, smokes oh. in the middle of sight. That's not where it looked like it meant to go, but just hits that Molotov, extinguishes it, and goes off in the middle of nowhere. You might give nowhere. them the route to the plant at least, and Axel. Oh, another sigh of relief. Being breathed by Cloud9, they think that Axal has done enough to lock this round in to make it a guarantee. Now phase up for the task. They don't have a lot oh. to work with, but they're still making it happen. Suddenly, Cloud9, this confidence, the idea that they were fighting, that disappears. They back up to play around the bomb. This has become a round that they've had to fight for out of nowhere. Flicking oh. down, Shiro is dead. He's late. Faze are grinding away back in. They had nothing to work with. They shouldn't okay. be winning this. Buster with that fight and with no kit for Faze Clan. Oh. You'd like to think he's done enough. Again, really impressive for Faze. Taking all the guns down, even on like a low bio with just Galil. He's waiting for it. Huge kill. Brokey's going to turn around. Yeah, he's waiting for it. Now it's time to strike. Nafany strikes. Oh, I love this. Beautiful. Twists. Last man Great standing. Right. Run down. That is so much more composed for Cloud9. Inferno, they would just take something and then they would just first timing execute into a bomb site without any mind games, any variety being tossed into it. Whereas there, you know, they took B, they're putting the pressure, and you know, Nafi's moving up the flank. They get another kill, so Brokey has to take off the flank, potentially, or maybe for Hobbit to fake. It allows FaZe to save if they're wrong, but it do certainly doesn't look like they're wrong. The bomb's coming back in through the apartments, oh and they may even force this kill. Yeah, Hobbit up close. This needs to be his moment. Oh, wow. he collects them both! Twists and Carrigan dealt with, but he thinks the site's clear. Everyone is here, but that's info they have now. And with time left, this is no longer Cloud9 having a scramble. Still for they're still going to try and follow through with the B play. Sorry, if Cloud9 is slowing down, so they're they're making phase second guess themselves. But right now they're coming in now. Yeah, now rain. they should know. But uh, Rain rotated it off because they're questioning. You get here in time. Just he behind back. the smoke, behind the site, Cloud9 moved through, he saw something, there's the orb picked off, oh, Rain out of ammo, back to the pistol, it's up to his teammate, also on a side on, no escaping the chase, as Nafany and Buster run them down, they save face in a very scary round. That was very nice from Cloud9, they didn't just, you know, panic and just run in, you know, with Hobbit, Hobbit went out and checked, and then they just... Oh, no way, before Axel gets here as well, he might not even trade, Rops flicks back. A key kill for Axel, and now it's up to Rain on the site. Yeah, they just need to be cognizant. They haven't cleared out behind default, they're moving in like, this is oh, looking dear. fine and it's not Rain. Allowed to slam the gauntlet down, two in the round, oh. and there's magic number three. Oh, the beast. Rain makes it happen. We still have this double palace component. Will it come in through yeah. under late? Reigns won his fight. Now you kind of forced your hand into this B area. Axar trying to lead through the smoke. Carrigan holds on. Hobbit didn't see. Oh, Hobbit did not see on top of Ticket. Back in CT, Brokey sits. Hobbit does find that kill and he knows Rain is nearby as well. You wish you could go A, but there's simply not time. axel has gone for the site. Shiro with a trade. Hobbit also finds it, but the round is done. There's no saving this one. He is simply too far gone. That's yeah. super awkward. What are Cloud9 even trying to do? Is that just a the, desperate mid round? They, they were. Just, I think the the huge kill was just the connector round. I think that denied like the activation from the players' halls. I think they wanted like Nafni to get up con and like show, like do some sort of pressure and then like the best bet is just to smoke top connector and take jungle control, Molly Molly jungle, get into window, get control. Because if they don't if they don't take any control, this is just going to be a very easy to take for Smoke so hitting rain. Slows him down, that gives an audio cue. Hobbit takes his kill and look at the space yeah, he's trying to create to as well. Or something, you know, I understand they smoked both, but they need that control, so this is going to be too too hard for them to hold this bolt, this bolt point. They're even trying to take CT there. Yeah, they really want this ground, they really want the real estate. They do have one man still nice pinned in the site. This is where Hobbit needs to come alive. He's keeping the con rotate, pinned in, locked out. Axal still in this back of the site. Carrigan's on the no. bomb, but Axal's waiting for it. Ooh. Brokey, Deep hello! And the bomb's oh. not planted for Hobbit! the clutch king, rounds this out with FaZe in the lead!
And C9 put a stop to this exec. Two smokes in, nades go flying. Shiro's at the back of the site and they haven't cleared him yet. There's a one for one quickly and Shiro just gets overwhelmed. Rain checks that position. FaZe have been playing it all half. And now C9 smoked out perfectly. Cannot do anything about this bomb plant. It's four default, four CT, and Brokey's already taken that real estate. Axel makes it a three on three, and Cloud9 are on the clock. Two CTs with no armor, you know, Buster has nades, and Anthony has the kit. So if, I mean, you know, if FaZe is able to, you know, peek out and get these fights, they're going to have the upper hand. They're not swinging yet. They're waiting for the fights. Oh, oh Brokey, the timing on that. Rain's at least traded it. Risky old peak for him to take as well, having a swing out. We didn't get the didn't get get it. kit. Didn't get it. Grab that Ooh. kit, and with that hope of winning the round, should be out the window. Buster left in the clutch. Oh, okay. One man oh, no. found, but out of time. Rain wins it to the clock. His USP comes alive as he picks it up in the post plant, makes it sing. Just keep it going. Yeah, they miss a window smoke. I'm sure if that's by design, as Shiro's able to just swing out and kill one. Axel as well. The Mac 10s removed from phase. And Cloud9 immediately looking to land on their feet after a lost pistol. They're even facing. Shira's got nothing to lose. They'll swing through the smoke and take out Rain. Cloud9 in a 5v2. That's more like it. Yeah, believe it or not, they've had problems converting these sorts of rounds in the past. You're hoping that this isn't going to rear its head again, but it might, Rops. And Brokey make it competitive. The bomb gets away from them over on Catwalk, and so the alarm bells are going off for Brokey now. He's caught on short, caught down low and finished off. The smooth moves won't get him out of the firing line. And so Cloud9 clamp down on the clutch man. A lot of HP. And now the rain's been oh. spammed out. That's going to stop the plot. Oh, no. More nades oh. raining in. Double nades at that. Twist is lucky to still be alive. Only a few more seconds, but Rops provides Overwatch. Hobbit tried to make the play to win the round by dropping the bomb. He swung at CT, and that's given a 3v3 oh. over. Cloud9 reclaim they it with know. one. Yeah, do they know Rops was inside? I don't think they, they do. Don't. They might they look over this earlier on. They oh. know he's back oh, they know here. Now. They heard yeah. the tag. They in. Have heard this tag. They're going to try and jump over. No, they're not. They're running him down up close. Oh. Rops can't find oh. a thing. Oh. And Brokey, this yeah, is one it, clutch yeah. too far. He's just got to run away. Makes Cloud9 right withstand this round. Oh, that was scary as well. Considering Nafani almost got picked by that jungle, you know, that jungle angle to Palace. He gets a molly, he delays Brokey's play, and then he goes on to find three kills and win the round. Cloud9 I, re aggressive mid. Dude, I mean, they actually will even, get left out playing retake. Even the fact that they like full four mine gambled over Ooh, towards B up against the pistols, I think speaks volumes as to where this game's at, right? Nothing's certain, nothing's Careful. given, nothing's free. Oh, not versus no. FaZe. Oh, oh, oh the no. Deagle's pulling up, doing a lot of damage. The advantage still with FaZe Clan. Shiro oh, lighting what? everyone up one by one. Oh. FaZe are falling. Rain, the difference maker, maybe. 1v1. Swing it oh. out. Shiro. Oh. Fakes the steps and Rain with a misread, a missed opportunity. After those missed shots for Shiro as well, you felt like that, 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 you know, that would be Cloud9 crumbling under the pressure of a five man B, but Shiro saves it. Yeah, I was feeling it for phase there. Like once a twist got those two double Ds, I was like, oh, here comes the phase round, two Ds, there's gonna be another one D. But Shiro shuts it down. Yeah, that nice was. Shots from I mean, dude, it's so important because, you know, we say, like, sometimes the game is decided by, you know, one or two rounds. And I think, you know, for Cloud9, the Shiro, so blind on this angle. 40 seconds, phase even flash through the smoke. They're forcing kills as they fade. Twist with two more. The Deeds wouldn't do it, but the rifles will. That's a round for phase. Yeah, follow, follow around for phase. You know, they took their time on everything, you know. And so they're starting to apply that pressure again. And I think it's going to suck the most for Cloud9 that that pressure comes through the smokes and removes two guns right at the end. They've got to keep a watchful eye on the connector because coming out through it, our phase to their detriment. Cloud9 hold on in the openers. Shiro getting pressured. Oh. Is in hot water now. No way. Clicks into the connector, ready for a ramp fight. And with Rop slow, Cloud9 have responded. They chase down that last kill. And they come up with an immediate reply to FaZe. This is a desperate call yeah, for FaZe. This is, this is all it. This is everything being thrown at this. And if this doesn't land, Cloud9 are teed up for the win. Hobbit opens. This guy's been a nuisance in the A plays. And so Carrigan will run him down. Advantage still with Cloud9. But you can't count FaZe out. Not in the dying lights of a game like this. This is where they do their best work. Nafani with the reply. Will not let Cloud9 
slip into the shadows in this round. He's keeping that pressure applied. Crossing back in, Brokey with a CT plant. This could this. get denied right now. Buster oh. can stop this. Instead just finds the planter. Carrigan, the man at the helm in the 1v3, the captain up okay. against it all. One man coming from CT side, catches him by surprise. Buster up and over. And with that, Cloud9 on to 15. The mid round there just didn't work out too well. Oh my goodness, that's a pace. Nathany finally gets his revenge. He was the guy walking into Rops and Con Please. in that first half. But he will start this off and maybe send FaZe packing, at least for Mirage. Two for the captain through the window. It's getting desperate for FaZe and they're getting shredded, burnt alive. 2v4 now. Cloud9 wait for Ancient as they want to make their own history. Write their book. Hobbit all the way through as FaZe must move forward because that net is closing. Keep the grand final going just a little longer. It's Twists in the clutch. Twist the before. last saving it. grace. I feel it. One kill found. Nafany out of the round. Cloud9 do not want to overplay their hand. They don't want to give them away back in. They oh want this God. to be ancient history. A map forgotten about on their way to a fourth. The bomb is in top mid. Twists doesn't have it. He That's can't win this round with the smoke in his way. Time will not be his friend here. And Hobbit waiting up in the top of mid. Looks to send a message that Cloud9 are here to play. Ancient left waiting in the wings. Yeah, do Cloud9 feel like big boys on LAN up to the task of a reverse sweep? They've traded evenly in this round to find a 4v4 post plant. Hobbit holding for the rotate down the lane, gets the info on one. Doesn't know about that second man in ROPS, but he's just playing to delay. He's playing to waste as much time as he can. Wins one of these fights. ROPS has made steps. Hobbit knows he's getting pressured, but he is doing it all right now. The gift, Hobbit. Nail shot off the shot and Rain as good as he's been in these pistol rounds. A 1v3 from here, asking far too much. Hobbit rip roaring opener to this fourth map. Rops could change the tide though with a couple of well placed D's. He's found one. Oh, but they swing him together. They don't want to give him this. Brokey will ring out with one more in the meantime. And Big. twist up close. Helped out by Brokey. It's left to the 1v1. Rain on the other side. Moving through Donut Buster. Taps on the bomb. Expecting oh, a CT dear. plant. And that's too easy for Rain. In these clutches. You, exactly, right? Like they're you say, they're win. playing this psychological game. And it's serving them well. The pistols cleaned up there as Brokey gets yeah. the last. And FaZe, they get the conversions after stealing away. Oh, he saw one jump. He knows he's about to get delivered a kill. That Molly falls in behind them. Wow. And what a response out of Buster. Cloud9 have just made this oh. a doable spot, but that spam out of ROPS complicates things. Nafany. Wasn't ready to be thrust into the 1v2. Crosses over to Long and has this fight to worry about. Wins it to Rox, oh. but is not prepared for Brokey. He blended in there, didn't he? He can do nothing about it. Brokey must concede the site. 20 seconds, flash through the smoke as Rops. He sees nothing. Ooh. He can't hang around forever. There's a lurk in mid under Nafany, and Rops doesn't know about it. Bomb plant wide, but the smoke fades. They waste their time. 10 seconds, and Rops is in the power position. He can kill this mid flank. No one needs to face. Just Shiro stuck in the mud. Ooh, even getting out with the AWP, he does need to hold on to this. He's even hunting ah, all the way into the nice spawn, shot. but that is a good angle for Shiro and not one that Twist is anticipating. Rain with the cave hold. Overwhelmed. Suddenly a route opens up for Cloud9 into the B play, perhaps. Carrigan trying to tame the beast in cave. The Buster still remains here. Shiro Ooh. with a pick up the ramp side and Brokey starting to feel the pressure. That tag connects, but now he's off the angle. Shiro owns it. That smoke might give Brokey an no! angle. And so Buster sails Shiro down the river. It's a 1v2 for Buster to complete. Brokey dead, but Rops brown in the palm of his hand. And it's another one of these tight 1v1s where FaZe. This is an incredibly important moment in the game. The force by is coming out of Cloud9 right now. Whoever gets this has the money for the rest. Oh, oh Shiro! 
trying to be that man, trying to be the savior of Cloud9. Carrigan with the backstab, but he's missed the timing. Broke, he's gonna do this from the temple. They've not paid their respects. They've not paid their respects to Brokey. He's being given room here. Chances to fight. He even goes back oh, looking for the man in red. Looking for the man lost to the smoke. And with Carrigan picked out of the round, Brokey's getting pincered in the 1v3. They might finally stop this man from clutching. They might finally stop him from winning one of these 1vx rounds. And so Cloud9 with the four spy, keep this competitive. Blimey. There's also a tidbit impatient from Kerrigan. If you play against Cloud9, if you 5v4, you can't immediately push or 4v5 oh. rather. And now the timing from Hubbard's been found. Though Broke is aware. Oh. Gets killed. Robs with the trade in with the Emperor. Oh. And has no idea about Axile. Two for war, just rain. One man, one man to do it all. And now that they know he's See over ya. at B and they've got control of red, that bomb will not commit in. Trepidation around, you know, picking up this Grand Slam for, for FaZe, this Intel Grand Slam that they've had multiple chances now to secure. This is where I think that pressure starts to float back the other way, right? FaZe know about this. They've got everyone here. They've got everything in place to win this round. Now they yes. need to stick the landing. Wow. Twist robs the bomb plot. The trades come back. And this was looking good for FaZe Clan, but it's turned sour quickly. Hobbit's pressuring the spawn will get swung. Cleaned up now, it's left to Axile in this clutch. Bomb plant in, but they're running at him. Wasting no time is Brokey. And he puts FaZe back on the map with a much needed round, stopping the five round streak that Cloud9 were on. A bit of a pace for Nafani, he has been the space creator towards B. He's gonna take that mid fight, Twist finally wins it back. Hobbit does change the game though, 4v4. Rain pushes through the smoke, and this is just audacious for FaZe right now. They're throwing punches at C9. Nice shot for Brokey, oh, yes. stops the booster. And now it's a four on two. They know about the AWP and Brokey's gonna try and deal with it. Brokey's being proactive, oh. they wanna try and fight him. And they take that one engagement on the ramp while they've got it. Buster's been quiet for a while now. He's With that info, he knows that there were a lot of bodies over at B. And even though Twist has started the rotate, Buster still beats him to the bomb site. He needs a molly in CT or Twist will just run through. There's no reason to respect this play. Twist is just going for it. Full send, ending the half. And he finds it through the smoke. Phase just about clinch out a winning half on H. And it could have been better, but it could always be worse. The solutions. Molly is brilliant, but Rain runs through. He doesn't care about fire. He puts it right out. And Shiro puts him down. It's going to keep C9 with this B site for now, but the cave component is coming in. They're going to try and boost up over. This is incredible. They've got an angle, but Brokey sees something over the top, and he drops Hobbit. Four on three. Phase taking space towards long. They run down C9. It gets a bit awkward in the midst, but they do plant the bomb. I mean, it's Shiro and Axile in the clutch, right? In the two on three. These They're are meant to be the it. guys. That, and uh, this has to be the time. They've had a couple of failed promises in moments like this. This can't afford to be one of them. You really want this pistol round if you're Cloud9 and Shiro has opened oh it up. Dear. This is oh. meant to be the tag team. This is meant to be the Got duo. They're on the bomb. Oh. Bam down. Shiro 1v1. And Rops is running oh. for the hills. He knows. Shiro on the bomb. Rops coming back around. Oh. Needed to nail that. Rops is the man to provide. He might have had it, man, but he I wanted know. the ace. He, he wanted the kill. He wanted to guarantee that I can stick that package. Four kills deep for Shiro. It's not enough. Nafani has support on the short side. Oh, they get out. Oh, Miss no shot. Way. Shiro smoked off. And Nafani only gets away with damage. This one could get weird. This one could get complicated. Kill for Buster, what? but Brokey and Rain what? with the reply. And now it falls to Rain. A long way away is Axel. So far removed from this round. And so Rain knows the time him. is on his side. The experience him. shining through. And Rain. Closes it out in style. A three on five. And FaZe are going to walk his yeah. way. The, the entire weight of this final is on Axile's shoulders right now. And that pressure, that weight might be too much to bear. They're moving in through main. Oh, oh he's making it happen. Doing oh. everything he can to keep Cloud9 alive a little longer. There's a sign of life. He's given them a chance. It's down to the rest of the squad now to finish what Axile started. Brokey dead crossing. Hobbit on the scene. The bomb away from FaZe. And Rain in the clutch, getting wrapped through middle. Time's the only thing he's got. And even that is gradually turning against him. Looking for a fight. 
looking for something to tip the scales, yeah. but Nafani locates him, sniffs him out, and they do good on Axile's promise. Axile, that is yeah. such a mow down. You're hoping the MAC-10s oh, can no. close the distance. Shiro was caught with nades out as well, but he still comes in with the first. Nafani holding onto the cave, his teammates oh. overran, but Buster locks it in from the long angle. Buster putting oh. on a show, stepping oh. up, tries all he can to save this round. This is the guy. It's left to Rops. He has been lights out here on Ancient. Looking for a fight, he saw a leg in cave. That is a lot of info with the nades out from CT. He knows where both players are. Rops is a dangerous man to give the info to. He's evaluating this, keeping a note of the mental time. He's expecting the swing, and even though he's looking the right way, he can't win it. The saving grace has to be Axal, and with Timing. this room given up oh. in red, it could all go downhill for Cloud9. Shiro deals with Carrigan. Axal traded, no twists with a double. He's looking for his second Intel Grand Slam. He's trying to be the difference maker to find 15, to find match point. With so much on the line, Twist has answered the call, battled back into the three on three. And now he sits, waiting for Rops's contact. Sure, Rops falls out of the round, but Twist is still a threat out behind the big box. Another on the tally. Twist is on a mission! Four out of five! One more to find! And these 1v1s have been where FaZe thrive. Bates the shot. Nafani's oh. moving in! But it's Twist! The man who could make history tonight! The most winningest player looking to take to the stage in all his glory. Where did this come from, Twist? What an incredible second wave from Twist. And he had the words in the interview. Anytime someone put a microphone in front of his head, he said, listen, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make history. I'm going to look at the Instagram slam. I'm going to grab it for the second time. He wasn't shying away from the pressure. He wasn't downplaying the narrative. Yeah, they want to end this. They want to end this now. No more second chances for Cloud9. This has to be it. This has to be the, the multi-kill round of dreams. And it doesn't happen with Axile dead. That advantage with FaZe, they can feel this. That realization is starting to set in. That in a moment's time, they might have finally caught this elusive trophy that they've been chasing to find the Intel Grand Slam. Ray, wow. the hammer's been slammed down by Thor himself. And now it's just Buster and Hobbit left up in this one, but they can't find a thing. FaZe Clan doing it for. They pick up the trophy and it just all starts to break down. They realize they've done it. Elation, that trepidation, that anxiety. Season 17 and the winners of the Intel Grand 